Hello friends, welcome to my channel Go Digit. Today, in this video, we will learn about how to integrate Business Central with SharePoint using Power Automate. So, as you know, that uh, from the last week we have started this series where we will learn about Power Apps, Power Automate, Power BI, and how we will make them use with the Business Central. Okay, so this is the second part of the series and here uh, as I told you that uh, I already have one SharePoint site with me and it is currently blank here I have created one list which is D365 BC customers so as you can see currently it is blank and what we need is that as soon as we create a new customer here in the business central it should flow automatically to this SharePoint list page right and we just need uh, only three columns like uh, what is the name of the customer what is the number of the customer and what is the phone number in case you need any other field as well then you can select add column and uh, type the column name and that will flow automatically okay so for example let me do something that I go to the customers okay and let's say uh, we need uh, email we will need uh, we will pass email as well okay so what i'll do i'll click on text next and create one more column as email save it so now you have this list which have four columns and these four columns we will sync from my business center right so let's go here and create your new flow from automated cloud flow and here let me name it sync bc customers when a new record is created we have to search for this business central trigger environment is bc22 test then the company Kronos australia api category is version 2.0 and the name of the table which will be customers right so we are telling power automate that whenever a record is created in the business central with this configuration of this environment this company and for this table then what we will do okay so first of all we will get that record okay so search here again business central and get that record select the environment select the company api category name of the table which is customers and then row id is this right so we have successfully created a record and we have successfully fetched the record so this is what we are telling in our power automate now the last step what we need is that we want to create that record which we uh, in the sharepoint list page as well so click on the new step and this time we will search sharepoint select this and now you can see that it has so many options because uh, based on whatever information is available on your site so you can uh, play with those uh, aspects but right now my requirement is that in this site i want to create my new customer in this particular list page so i have to select this create item okay so select this trigger and now it is asking you uh, this information about your site first of all site address so right now it is showing me because this 
SharePoint account and my Power Automate account and my Business Intel account is same. So everything is interlinked with each other. In case uh, you're not uh, for any reasons this site address is not coming, then what you have to do, you have to open your SharePoint site and copy the URL of your SharePoint site. So URL will be till here. Okay, SharePoint.com, then sites and then your site name. Okay, so that's what you are saying that sharepoint.com sites and then your site name which in my case it is items okay then under which list you want to create that new customer okay so you can see here that i have two list available let me select uh, i think yeah this is the one d365 bc customers so this is the one and now as soon as you select that it will give you the name of the columns which are available in this list so you can see here that columns are title number phone number and email so yes this is the one title number phone number and email so now we just have to copy or and place the field name of the business central customer here okay so in the first title i want the name in the second number i have i will place the customer number in the third one the phone number and the fourth one is email so select this and you are done so that's all it's so simple that you just have to give only few things few information and rest of the things will be handled by power automate only so just save this flow and now we will see the magic of it go to my flows open this currently you can see that it did not run anything no run so far okay because i have not created any new record so let's create a new customer click on new button and let's say SharePoint test and now come down under and give any random number phone number and the email will be xyz at the rate gmail.com right so that's it now let's go to your flow and see what is currently happening in with your flow and you can see that status is succeeded which means it ran successfully without any issue let's open it and yes everything ran successfully now go to your sharepoint site list page just refresh it and you can see that i have got my new customer information here which is the name of the customer the number of the customer the phone number and the email right so this is the power of power automate that you can easily integrate your business central environment with other portals like SharePoint like OneDrive or you want to send out an email which we have seen in the la uh, part one of the video so these are the useful features of the power automate which you can do and it is nothing but uh, you can say a magic that all your data whichever new record whatever whosoever user is creating new customer in your environment it will run for every every new record and automatically uh, update this list page as well so your sharepoint and your business center will always be in sync and there is no problem at all so that's all in the today's video i hope if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching this video